right, more news by clicking the red button. A former Emir of Kanu State, Mohammed Sanusi II, said Nigeria should stop parading itself as African giant. In his statement, he alleged that the country is far behind many other African countries in terms of development. He said this at the closing section of Kaduna Investment Summit. Sanusi stressed that Ghana is far developing and attracting industries and Ghana present has become the leading present in Africa. Adding that Ghana, with lesser economy, invests more in education, while Nigeria spends only 7% of its budget on that. Going forward, the former governor of Central Bank of Nigeria said, while Nigeria was trapped on crude oil, which is fast diminishing in value and struggling to sell. The rest of the world was embracing technology. Except the country shifts her focus from oil to knowledge, the nation's economy risks imminent collapse. There is increased automation and artificial intelligence. Very soon, robots will take over work in most countries and those who have jobs are those who operate the robots or manufacture the robots or service the robots, he added. For us in Nigeria, the enclave economy that we have, the so-called goose that lays the golden egg, is about to die. There will be no eggs. The future is not in the carbons, he said. Protest has rocked Yedogua over the death of good luck Ovi Ekeme Izigwe, who was allegedly died in police custody. Angry youth from the AP and Atisa kingdoms in the Yenugua local government area of Bayasa State are presently protesting in Yenugua, the state capital, over the death of their colleague from Biibolo, the community. It was gathered by newsmen that the youths on Saturday blogged the Bibolo AP section of the Mbiama Yenogua Road and the Isaac Borough Expressway with canopies, tires, and sticks, stopping vehicle movement in the area. Toyota Siena bus with the registration number KRD 900GV has run into commuters, killing two persons and injured seven others. The accident, which occurred in the early hours of today on the Abiokuta Lagos Expressway in Guduba Village, Ewukoro, local government area of Ogun State involved three vehicles a brown ford with registration number aaab 439 xb toyota siena krd 900gv and the yellow tricycle with registration number akm 791 vp according to the spokesperson for the traffic Compliance and Enforcement Cops in the state, Babatunde Akimbi confirmed the incidents. According to Akimbi, who told the newsman that the accident was caused as a result of brake failure while avoiding a pothole, he explained. And according to eyewitness reports, the Toyota Sienna driver was speeding and in its attempt to avoid a pothole lost control and ran into commuters by the roadside waiting to board a bus to their destination. In the process, two casualties were presumed dead, a minor whose mother was alive, and an old man while seven other commuters were injured with one alive. 
the driver of the Toyota Sienna vehicle has been arrested and taken to Itori Division of Police Station with other accidented vehicles involved in the multiple crash.